little peaches and glam good <laughs> makeup. <laughs> so we are doing the changing of the palettes. You know, this is that time when uh, I take all last month's palettes, give them a review, decide what I'm going to keep, what I'm not. I'm going to keep them all, and why not? And, uh, you know, see what we're going to dig out for next month. So, if you'd like to see what I thought of last month's palettes, and what we're going to do about this month, then um, hang out, because we're going to go through them things. Hey, we. Anyway. We peaches. Yes, we are. Hey, hey, I'm so glad that you decided to hang out. Um, doing a new thing with the nails. There's going to be a review on this in the next couple weeks. Maybe a tutorial. I don't know. We'll see. I picked up some of those uh, powder. You dip your nail in the powder kind of thing. And I gotta tell you, I'm <laughs> I'm a little bit impressed. Now these are on my own nails. I don't have any fake nails on, but I will tell you this: I have not had any kind of nail fail, like no breakage, no peel, nothing in the past week. These have been on for a week now, so almost two weeks. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's get into, you know, the good stuff. The eyeshadow palettes. Woohoo! Okay, so, um. Gourmande Girls. Sister La Amora. This is just a stunning palette. Um. My beautiful friend Jessica from Jess Jessica sent this to me, and unfortunately, it came really damaged. So I just sort of repaired it, and uh, she seems to be okay. There are this right here will practically turn any shade into a duo chrome. Like, it's just beautiful. As a matter of fact, let us... Okay, let's take the, this one. And do a little swatchy. And then we'll put that one on top of it. And... Seriously. It's, it's just... It's stunning. I just... It's beautiful. Let's do it with another one. Because, you know... Look at that. That's so pretty. And the whole palette is just stunning, beautiful. Uh, Gourmandi Girls has a really nice formula that is easy to work with. And I'm so glad that I was able to repair this palette because I really enjoyed it. You know, I, I reached for it a lot last month. I used it a lot to go to work. And i um, just so happy to have that. Jessica, thank you again for thinking of me. Guys, I know this was a 4th of July thing. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> okay, next we had the Jeffree Star Banana. Okay, this palette, I mean, I was a little intimidated by the whole idea of, you know yellows really yellows and then you've got you know the the blue and the pink but you know what are you gonna do with them with all those yellows but I really had a good time it actually all those colors looked a thousand times better than I thought they would uh, as usual, blending is, you know, a breeze and just some really beautiful things in here. Um, of course, let's look at the shimmers. We've got this one right here. And then let's go with the mat that's right above it. So. 
trying not to lose the this buttery song, you know? You know, just Jeffrey, you're a little strange, but you do good makeup. Really happy that I jumped on this immediately and got it because, you know, it's just, it's been a joy. It truly has. I've been having just a wonderful time with that. Okay, and then the third palette is BH Cosmetics. Back to Brazil. I love the artwork. It's just beautiful. Um, it's hard to believe that they can afford all this artwork and charge such like, you know, I, mean, I think this was $20, maybe. Maybe. And look at all that color. Okay, they're, they're small. But, you know, seriously, how often do you hit pan? I actually used, um, this one here for, you know, my 4th of July look for the blue. Um, just seriously, I didn't reach for it as much as I thought I was going to. But then I had, you know, the, uh, Jeffree Star and the Gramonde girl. So that might have had a little bit to do with it. Um... So I think we're going to put her in another upcoming month uh, just because I would like to spend a little more time with this one. But um, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with all three of those palettes. Now let's see what we're going to do next month. Okay, another gift from uh, my friend Beth at mama vapes beauty so this is i haven't even really opened this yet um i've just been kind of sitting on it waiting it's, it's a very soft um like a suede leather sort of uh you know naga hide feel um you know of course it says pink religion and now, I said I wasn't going to buy this because of his ads, I felt were kind of in really poor taste if you were at all religious. Um, but I also said if I get this in a mystery box or if someone sends it to me, then that's not me going out and buying it and that's God's way of saying you know yeah okay you can have it you know I know you don't really want it it's the makeup um so I think I think that God is really okay with me having this and um if he's not I'm sorry dude <laughs> I'm using it I'm sorry but oh have mercy there is just now, obviously, this one isn't going to fold all the way back because you've got the whole book thing going on, but... Oh, look at this. Like, wow. There's some really pretty stuff in here. Oh! And the camera does it no justice. No justice. Alright, so... We are going to go with these two right here. You know, as usual, it feels just beautiful because, you know. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. We are totally going to have some fun. With okay, I got to do one more. I got to do this, this highlight. Ooh. Oh, it's like a pink to gold shift. Oh, that is stunning. Yes, we are going to have some fun with this. 
I could probably have just done that one by itself and been just exceedingly happy. But um, that is so pretty. I decided to throw a neutral in there. Because, like, I've been going through all these palettes for so long now, and I've been taking all the fun ones, you know, and, like, I'm getting down to where I got a lot of neutral palettes left. This is the Dosha, I believe. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Dosh? Dosh, maybe? I don't know. But, um, I have tried some of their things before. Now, this is... I haven't really been into this one at all yet so I'm kind of excited about it but I have had like some of their other things and well this is pretty cool it's got like a plastic that slides across kind of protects uh okay what are we gonna do in here what are we gonna do in here well, obviously, we're going to take a look at the highlight color. This one right here. And, um, I think let's, let's try this one, too. So, wow. Okay, so I still have Jeffrey all over, but... <laughs> let's see. Wow, I really, I do like this brand. I've only tried, a, like, this is the first palette that I've had from them. Um, but I've had, like, some singles that I've had from, you know, Ipsy, Boxy Charm, blah, 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 blah. And I think that actually came in an Ipsy. Um, I'll show you how long I've been sitting on that and not used it. But I really enjoyed the singles that I had, so I'm really looking forward to playing with that one. So, ah! What do you think? Have you, do you have any of these palettes? Have you tried any of these palettes? Would you like to try? What's your opinion on the palettes, the brands? Let's get a conversation going here, guys. BH Cosmetics, what do you think? You know, this, I know a lot of people have this. It's kind of new to me. Um, you know, opinions. Uh, the Gourmande Girls. It's, it's getting a little more well-known, and really, she's worth it. She, she is a really nice formula. Jeffree Star. Oh, come on. Everybody's got some kind of an opinion. <laughs> The makeup is good, though. I'm there for the makeup. I just, you know, I like the makeup. Um, other than that, guys, this month just flew by. Until the next time, I hope you wake up dancing. Wake up dancing. Boom, boom. Wake up dancing. Every single day. Bye-bye.